Hello everyone, I am Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss solution of the problem of the day that is palindrome string. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? It says that given a string capital S, check if it is palindrome or not. So basically, when, when do we call a string a palindrome? That's the first question. See, the meaning of palindrome is if the string reads the same if we read it from start to end as well as if we read it from end to start it remains the same even if we read it in the reverse order then it is called a palindrome so for example the string a b b c b b a if this string if you read it from start to end it is a b b c b b a if you read it from end to start it is also same a b b c b b a so this is called a palindrome Suppose you have a string A, B, C, D. From start to end, it is A, B, C, D. From end to start, it is D, C, B, A. These two are not same. So, this is not a palindrome. So, what is a palindrome? It is a string which reads the same from start to end as well as from end to start. Okay. Now, let's read further. Now, let's read further. So, we are given an example A, B, B, A and the output is 1. Why? Because this is a palindrome. From start to end it is A, B, B, A. From end to start is also A, B, B, A. For the second example, from start to end it is A, B, C. From end to start it is C, B, A. So, it is not a palindrome. Hence, the output is 0. We need to complete the function is palindrome which accepts string S and returns an integer value 1 or 0. 1 if the string S is palindrome and 0 if it is not. The expected time complexity is big of length of s and expected auxiliary space is constant, okay, big of 1 and the constraints are given. Now, if we want to solve this question, what can be one simple, very simple approach? Take the original string, suppose the original string is a, b, b, c, b, b, a. Take an empty string b. Now, traverse the string a from index n minus 1 to 0 where n is the length of the string and add each character in b so what will b become first of all i'll add this a then there are two b's then there is a c then b b a if a and b are same what is b it is when we read a from end to start if a and b are same we say it is a palindrome if a is a b c and if b is c b a when uh, read it when we read a from the reverse side these two are not same so we will say it is not a palindrome and will reverse uh, will return zero but in this case the auxiliary space which is required is big o of n the auxiliary space why because we are taking a new string of length n b and it is said that the auxiliary space should be constant so how can we do that see our string reads the same when we read it from start to end or end to start so, for example, suppose if I write the indexes of my string, so this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now, this should read the same when I reverse it. So, when I will reverse or when I will read this string from end to start, the first character would be of 6th index, the second character would be of 5th index, the third character would be of 4th index, here the element would be of 3rd index. Here the element would be of second index from the original string. Here the element would be of first index and the zero index element will come here when I will read it from end to start. If I want this to be a palindrome, the zeroth element and the sixth element, the zeroth index element and the sixth index element must match. The first index element and the fifth index element must match. The second index element and the four index element must match. Now here it is repeated, 4th index, 2nd index, 5th index, 1st index, 6th index, 0th index and the 3rd index is same as 3rd index only. So what I am trying to say is, if these are my indexes, these and this should match. Only then when I will read it from end to start, it will remain the same. These and this should be same, this and this should be same and obviously this will stay at its place only. So, what I can do is for all index i from 0 to less than n by 2, what I can do? I can check if a of i is not equal to a of n minus i minus 1, then return false. 
and if this condition never occurs then return true why because see here how many elements are there seven so n is seven right i need to check from zero one and two if these two elements are same right so how can i get two it is less than seven by two seven by two will give me nothing but three it would be integer division so it would give me what i will move this loop from zero to index two and n minus i minus one will give me the respective uh, respective element for index zero n minus i minus one would be what seven minus zero minus one that is six and i need to check zero and sixth element for index one n minus i minus 1 would be 5 i need to check index 1 with index 5 and similarly for index 2 i need to check the element at index 4 so if even one element does not match for i equals to 0 to less than n by 2 if a of i is not equal to a of n minus i minus 1 for even one element this cannot be a palindrome i'll return false and if this does not occur it means that for all i from 0 to less than n by 2, a of i was equals to a of n minus i minus 1. It means it is a palindrome and I will return true. Now let us see its actual implementation and submit the code. So if we look at the actual implementation, what I have done is I have taken n as uh, the size of the string and then from i equals to 0 to less than n by 2, if s of i is not equal to s of n minus i minus 1, I have immediately returned 0. It cannot be a palindrome, otherwise I have returned 1. The time complexity would be here big O of n because I am running a for loop of size n by 2 and the auxiliary space required here would be nothing. I am not taking any array so it would be a constant time, a constant auxiliary space because I am taking some variables i and end. So this is the code. Now let us submit it. Let us submit the code. Okay, so we have solved this question successfully. I hope you have understood the solution as well. Thank you.